Yay! One. You see? I, uh, Among my... Us. Shut the fuck up. I already <laughs> hate my stream now. Deleted. <laughs> my channel, gone. Never again. Anyway, I changed my YouTube avatar or profile picture, whatever you call it, for the first time in, like, two years. And it feels really weird because for a channel that's not dedicated to art or drawing in any way, shape, or form, having a drawn, like, profile picture feels kind of weird. Is like, your I, I, audio I, I, included I, in my stream? Yeah, I include my audio in your stream. Okay. Yeah. Good team. Like... I, I get it's normal for some people to have, like, a drawn avatar. Like, Technoblade's avatar, uh, it was drawn There's by... Some yeah. R.I.P. Techno, you will be missed. Like, his avatar was drawn by somebody on Twitter for as, like, fan art. It looks really cool, but I don't think Technoblade has ever done art before in his life on stream. Like, he might have done it once or twice. But none that I remember, and I remember, like, I watched almost every single old live stream on his channel. And I remember, like, I was watching, like, YouTube at, like, like, at, like, at, like, 12 a.m. And I saw one of his, like, one of his streams on YouTube, and I was like, man... I, the thing is, I wish I grew up with Technoblade, because he was around at some of the same time as, like, Dan TDM, Popular MMOs, Captain Sparkles. He was around at the same time as them, and yet somehow he's managed to still become a New Age YouTuber. Maybe it's because he hang out with a bunch of the New Age YouTubers? Because, like, Techno died when he was, like, 21, 22. When he was doing YouTube with all of the old people, like, nine, like, four, five, six years ago, this dude was in, like, high school. I wish I grew up with that stuff. Because, like, I only got to watch all of his stuff over distance learning two years ago. And, Dang. like... <laughs> I watched the Potato had, Wars, like, I, for... I compiled every single video I could find into, like, every live stream, every video. Just threw it all into a uh, big-ass playlist. And just hit play. And I just have, like, a dropout window open on one side of my screen. And on the other side, I just have the Zoom meeting open. I pretend like I was paying attention to the Zoom screen when in reality, I was spacing out uh, listening to Technoblade rant about why wooden swords are actually better than uh, like half the things in the game or something. He was like, the wooden sword does no damage, but it makes up for it in uh, potential. Because, hear me out here. Nobody in full diamond armor with a diamond sword and sharp three with golden apples expects to get combo expects to get combo critted off the map by a chainmail armor with a wooden stick. And yet it happens. You don't make a parkour thing. I just realized but, yeah. there's no point in me going to mine iron because I cannot fortune the iron. Oh. Did I just say out loud I don't think I get struck by lightning. Get struck by lightning eighteen times in a row. I'm sick and tired of eating rotting flesh. Please tell me my potatoes are done cooking. I want to, um, you know where people yes. take a metal object and go outside when it's raining and thundering? I mean, um, Jesus, you have no, you don't have the balls. I did that with a salt shaker. 
My mom was not happy. Yeah. Um. There was this one time I held up an umbrella, like, held it, like, so it was puffed out and everything. I was with my friends in my backyard. It was storming outside. Like, fucking trees were almost being ripped out of the ground and shit. Like, it was hurricane shit. And I was like, strike me down, Zeus. You don't have the balls. And two miles away, a fucking tree exploded in the nearby park after getting struck by lightning directly. And everybody panicked because it was loud as hell, too. So we were all like, shit, did lightning just strike us? Took us a good two and a half seconds, I think, to realize we are still all alive and none of us have been struck by lightning. And so we just put down the umbrella, dried off, and went inside. What did I do to you? What did I do to this Enderman? I was making parkour. Probably looked at him. Like, there's this one guy, he's just chilling. Probably looked at him. He's just watching me fail at my own parkour. He just teleported away. So I could do my thing. One time I was watching like a Dan DM video and this kid behind me, like there's this room in the daycare like where you had to do your virtual learning and he said, Um, can you put on subtitles? Can you put on so subtitles? He... Yeah, and could you like move your head? Hey, move. I wanna watch the video too. Let the whole squad enjoy the Dan TDM video. And I did the exact thing just for him because like yeah, we are friends. The homie just wanted to vibe while watching Dan TDM. Let the homies vibe while watching Daniel Dan Middleton. Oh yeah, and sometimes like there's also another room, like after that, where you could just do your virtual work. And uh, I would stay in there like in the room longer so that I could just watch Technoblade. There are some kids that will grow up thinking face masks were a completely normal thing. <laughs> well, there's a robber. Oh, that's just normal. Oh, he must have COVID. No, Mother, no, father, no, what's Sally, COVID? We're being robbed. We might die here. Honestly, I people who make the claim that distance learning and um, homeschooling are the same thing have never done distance learning and have never done homeschool because I would so much rather be homeschooled oh, than go to distance learning again because with homeschool right you're done in like two three hours right at most you just do your work do it when it's assigned read the notes watch the video whatever and you're done. You do it whenever. With distance learning, you had to wake up at a certain time. You had to have your camera on. You had to not look like shit because otherwise everybody in the Zoom meeting would judge you silently. And you had to also... Wait, he took the thing from here? That Edmund, he just took my dirt block. Yeah, part of the you, rest al of the you also part had part, yeah. to, um... Like... Not... Turn off your camera for the entire hour-long Zoom session. And God forbid your Wi-Fi was acting up. Like, we had dog shit Wi-Fi when me, my brother, and my mom were all working from home. And when it, ti when it went time for me to turn on my camera and do PE, every time my camera would fuck up and my laptop would crash while running Zoom... And so, I'd just be there trying to fix it, the entire class able to see what I was doing. But my laptop would freeze, so I could only hear what was going on. And I had to basically, like, I couldn't turn on my camera because my entire laptop was fucked up. And I had to 
write out in a notebook, Hey, Mr. Teacher, can you kick me from the Zoom meeting? I cannot leave. Zoom is eating too much RAM. I cannot leave. And once he was able to read my handwriting after 15 minutes, because it was shaky as hell, because I didn't know if he was able to see it. He finally kicked me. And then it just... <sighs> it just took me, like, so goddamn long to actually be able to leave the Zoom meeting. And then Zoom crashed right afterwards. And I had to restart my both my laptop and router. And so, uh, that was fun. So I had to miss my next class, in which we were uh, learning how to make, um, like, we were learning about gravity and shit, which, you know, seems boring, but I actually kind of liked that class, so, yeah. But, um, I actually did Google Meet. Yeah, Google Meet would probably be easier. Because it was actually made by a company with billions of dollars at their disposal instead of, like, a random company that nobody heard of. Bro, imagine doing a fucking Zoom meeting on Discord. Oh, yeah, they used to allow Discord <laughs> yeah, on our Chromebooks that the school would give us, actually. <laughs> All right, boys, log into your account. Okay, we have Mike Hawks, uh, Nick <laughs> Kerr, uh, Joe no. Mama, and uh, Ben Dover. Uh, we have Gaming Simp Forty Five. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the uh, Zoom meeting. Uh, we got uh, Biggest Dickus. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the meeting. We have, uh, the only time. Oh. we have Ratfucker43. <laughs> Please die. <laughs> Keep on bringing him up. Also, remember when people would, like, leak Zoom meeting codes? And random people would just join the Zoom meeting? That happened so many times to us. Some dude was recording, he was like, How does it feel to have your dumbass Zoom meeting interrupted by a YouTuber? And it's live, and I just said, Do you have nothing else better to do with your time? Like, is this the best you can do? Are you that fucking lonely? Go get a girlfriend, man. It's not that hard. I mean, they're either gay or they're either lesbian or... Like, it was a dude, it was a dude. I know, but like... It's hard to find a girl that's like, you know, they're suddenly, or they're attractive. Oh, they're lesbian, of course. Like, you, if you, you just can't anymore. Doji, maybe you're just ugly. I'm actually not. I've actually had a few girls have a crush on me. But yeah, I'm not ugly. You wake up to your alarm clock. You see, this parkour is actually ten no, times I... harder than it looks because there's fucking skeletons everywhere constantly shooting you. So if you don't make it... God... But yeah, I'm not ugly. He says to himself while crying in the corner. No, I am actually telling you, I'm I am not, not ugly. ugly. I'm Mama's special boy. I'm not ugly. I'm not, I'm not ugly. ugly. I'm I will let you call me gay boy. or whatever, just I am telling you, I am not ugly. The thing is, like, you see people that act, like, perfectly normal and good, and then you just have, and, and you see them without a girlfriend, it's like, you see them without a girlfriend, it's like, that's a bit strange. And then you just see some fucking clown in the back of the classroom with, like, the prettiest girl there. Who talks multiple times. And I can say this from personal experience. This has happened to me. 
multiple times about how they would absolutely fuck their best friend, who happened to be a guy and sitting across the class. They're blowing fucking kisses at each other. It's like, how the fuck are you not single? Surely somebody must get tired of this shit. Oh yeah, it's a thing like, the weird kids in class, they, like, say that they have a girlfriend. This kid Connor, he, nobody, like, really likes him, because, you know, he's weird. But, he said that he has a girlfriend in another school. Uh, yeah. Like, everybody just looks at him and he's, and they're like, If you have a girlfriend, then, I don't know, like, Steven... Who was the guy in the wheelchair? He was like the super smart guy, the super smart guy. Like he couldn't move, he was paralyzed. Oh, Stephen Hawking. Yeah, Stephen Hawking had a better chance of walking than you, than you getting a girlfriend. And it's like nobody's even, you know, calling out the roast. It's just tr truth. Just like, they're weird and like, just they can't. Hmm. Yeah. So, how do you like the parkour? Uh, I got shot off of it by a skeleton eight times in a row, so I gave up. Yeah, I'm gonna try to... back on top. Did you and your friends ever, like, make a Google Doc? It's like just joke around in it. No, I once started my I once started a project called the Google Slides Animation Project, where only using Google Slides I had to animate an entire three minute long like movie. I gave up after the first ten seconds because I had hit fifty something slides. Like I could only use slides and the animate feature. Using, like, shapes and images and shit. And I gave up so fast. Oh. Like, it wasn't even funny. <gasps> oh, I almost fell to my death. I was so close. You, I need a water bucket. Did you want to die? You say it, you say it as if you're disappointed that you didn't <laughs> perish. No, I, I fell. Bond. Get your nails clipped. Or perish in the river below. What'll it be, Mr. Bond? A firehouse sub. You see, the... So, if you ever get kidnapped and they take your... So if they... So if, so, so if you get kidnapped and they take your phone... No, just ask. Ask them for a phone so that you can call your mom, but actually call 911. Hey, uh, can I call Domino's? Imagine, like, <laughs> imagine that, like, they're in the prison, they're actually, like, willing to give you your one, quote, quote, obligated phone call, which is not true, by the way. If you go to prison, you will not get one phone call, like, at all. Hell, they might even just, like, deny you the ability to contact a lawyer. But, um... Imagine you do get the chance to call somebody, you just call fucking Domino's. Like, you know that they if I were working Someone did the math that if you get robbed, you should call Domino's, because they would most likely get there faster than you. And that's why, um, police people should- er, police- Pizza people should get should be armed. Imagine like you're robbing a house, right? You answer the door. It's a Domino's pizza delivery driver with a full tactical vest with the fucking stendo. And he just mag just... jumps into your body with a Glock nineteen. <laughs> like what the You just fuck? call Domino's and you're like, Hey, I'm getting robbed and you guys will probably get here faster than the police. Um send somebody with a gun. <laughs> Send your best shot. Oh yeah, and I and I would like one large pepperoni pizza. Uh, yeah, while you're at it, could I get a uh, number three large with 
no, uh, with no, um, like, burn marks on the bottom. Oh, you can only do it. Oh, yeah, you also, I. Okay, that'll work. Also, I would not like, I would not want, I would not like to donate one dollar to a children's charity. Would I like to donate one dollar to a children's hospital to save them from, uh, leukemia? Fuck no, man. No! Would you like to, would you like to donate one dollar to, would you like to donate three cents to end world hunger? You are a billion dollar corporation, and you're asking a man who's using a 10% coupon off of a, on a bag of rice. If they would like to donate three cents to end world hunger, you could you could donate three hundred thousand dollars a day and not suffer any losses. And yet you you, uh, you ask your customers who are there because of your cheap prices. Anyway, that's gonna be a no. Doji, do you have a fortune book? Or a fortune pickaxe? No, we can go and get um, a villager with no job and we can just keep on re-rolling him. I guess. I just give you like a good idea and you're like, I mean, I guess we could. I'm not hesitant about it. I just want a fortune three pickaxe again. You know what? No, I just... Fuck it, let's make, the, yours. let's make the villager, let's make the villager place. <sighs> so where are you gonna make it out of? I'm just gonna dig it in the side of a mountain. I mean, like, I was gonna suggest, like, we make it, we build it in the ground. I mean, yeah. Really, just make it, like, a giant box. Yeah, but, like, okay, do we want to make it above ground and make it look good? We make it in the air, or do we want to build it like below ground, where most likely nobody will ever see it? Should we make it in the pit? There already is a villager down there, so. How well, did you even get that guy down there? It took me three villager lives, and he was the third. I placed a bunch of water buckets down there, and I had to boat his boat the guy all the way over to here and essentially very slowly push him off so he would float into the water and then I had to quickly like drive through all of the water to uh, it, like into the tunnel that I built that took me okay so we're of going to it hour. above ground mm, wait what about if we just clear out your house on top here then we make like the villager breeder well, the thing is, we don't have anywhere to put the beds. That's the main issue. No, I have a few beds. No, Doji, Doji, it's not that we don't have beds, it's we don't have anywhere to put them. I mean, we can... Tetris it. You know what we should build? We should build a Blockbuster, right? Or like a Toys R... We should build a Toys R Us and then put the villagers in there. <laughs> Actually... Mother, yeah. look, can I buy that new villager? Can I buy the... Mother, can I buy the slave? Sure, Timmy. How much is he? He's 15 cents. Okay, go ahead. Mother, I Does require... Does he pay cotton? Mother, mother, may I consume a calorie from the sandwich <laughs> A store? calorie. Mother, may I consume a calorie. the sweet, sugary, salty, savory, sour calorie conglomeration from the sandwich store? Go buy a cookie from Subway, you fucking nerd. Mother, can I buy the slave? I <laughs> need cotton. Mother, can I buy the cookie? I have this white Asian kid, and he does like the Peter Griffin thing. He goes, yeah. I hate nah. You know, he does that. Okay, Doji. We we're riding a fine line between funny and demonetizable. You dumb nit. Yeah. <laughs> N nice car. <laughs> nice car. NASCAR. 
Anyway, what stupid fictional, or actually, no, wait, what stupid real store do we want to uh, make as our villager breeder? Shrek subs. No, Shrek's pizza. Or Shrek's. No. Real store. No, no. Let's make the fun. Wait, Let's GameStop. Fuck it, let's make a GameStop. <laughs> Gay stop. <laughs> Gear buy a family. Hell yeah. Where is it? Take my money. Take my fucking money. Where is it? Where? Anyway. You know. Uh, do we make it there won't be like. Do we make it out of deep slate or stone? I mean, what do we have more of? Deep slate. I guess deep slate. Fuck it, you wanna just, <laughs> you wanna just build a hole in the ground? What about if we just make a giant box over there? Let's turn Totoro's basement to the villager breeder. Okay. It's not like she's using it for anything else. She's gonna like come back here after her house like gets exploded by somebody and you can't fix it. And she's just like, why are there villagers? Why not? So we're gonna put them in this room. We're just gonna... Alright, so remove all the slabs because the slabs are fucking stupid. Those are slabs? Wait, no, those are bricks. No, that's <sighs> why is Jackson like this? Why is Jackson like this? Wow! Wow! Why? Mm. Why is he like <laughs> perish? No. I used to have this water bottle that when you opened it, it would fling water. It would fling water at you. Ooh. So we did the um, Zootopia Isom thing, and now it stopped working. Isom. It stopped working. Aw. Bro, I, mean, I did little, hit a kid with it because he stole my apple. <laughs> Ice him. The I box uh, him for getting on the head the because he stole my hamster. apple. The, the little mafia <laughs> hamster was my favorite character in Zootopia. Like, not even a joke. <laughs> His name was Mr. Big. <laughs> Mr. Big is my favorite character in Zootopia. Alright, hear me out here. When I die, I want a group of sharply dressed, preferably in all black, like suits. I want a, like, ten or so sharply dressed Italian men with thick Italian accents oh, I know what you're doing. to walk up to my casket at my grave and say, you'll be missed, boss. Nobody can replace you. And I want everybody in my life to wonder what the fuck was going on. Um, um I'm stuck down here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Thank God Jackson dug out this big ass hole over here. It's perfect for shoving small objects, like villagers, and beds, and other things. <laughs> when I die, I want, like, a group of clowns to be there, in like, suits. And I want them to say, <laughs> when I die, yeah, you're the best, I want one of us. every actor from the entire Payday franchise, including Almir Listo, to, um walk up to my casket and salute me while playing um, Don't Act Dumb or uh, the per the next preferable alternative would be uh, I will give you my all. I want to um, I want clowns to come to the, my funeral oh, my funeral oh. and Chris Pratt so that they can say you're the best clown besides from that guy. Damn, you really they want, want and I you like Chris Pratt, huh? Oh no, I don't uh, know. I like him yeah, just. You, wait, no, Chris you, Pratt. You pick up. You know who the guy who who was the guy that played him, um, the Joker in in um, the 
Joker in suit in the first Suicide Squad. Who is he? Uh, Jared Leto. Yeah, I want them. I want them to point at him and say, "Besides from that guy, <laughs> he played a that. terrible clown." <laughs> Aside from that guy, he played a really <laughs> bad clown. Dude, in the Dark so Knight serious, game, Batman. in the Dark Knight games, every single time you die, all of the fucking Batman oh, enemies just shit on you. Like, I know, I have the game and like... hold with it. Like, even Joker, they... who you'd think would make some kind of joke, it's like, aw, poor little Batman, going to join mommy and daddy in that big country club in the sky... Didn't Joker die in that? He's like, Joker yeah. is just in Batman's mind. I th so maybe. basically, Dude, Batman um, gets shot on by Joker in the afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, uh, do you have any Bat boats? Excuse me, Chad. Boats, 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 boats. Um, do you think that Joker, when he died, like, Batman is Joker so well that Joker isn't even there? He just knows like what joker would say and joker's just like in in that life and he's like i heard a theory you no know, i am 100 percent is not true or at least i want mm -hmm. it to not be batman is actually doing all of the atrocities as like uh like his ulterior ego like he's doing all of the atrocities as bruce wayne the the corrupt billionaire and batman is like bruce's way of coping with like the loss of his parents he wants to fight crime as like best he can and he comes up with the joker as a way for him to symbolically and metaphorically beat crime out of the city while also causing like massive atrocities as bruce wayne like he's bruce wayne the whole time but he thinks he's Batman, and by passing bills and lobbying, he's, like, pushing crime out of the city by slowly creating, like, a totalitarian, like, government around Gotham. I remember this one comic, and it was this person who explained that Batman and Joker had met before, where, like, you know, they start fighting. They were and actually, it was... uh... They actually worked on the same group project together. Mm -hmm, but, <laughs> yeah, Joker, he was in the mental hospital, and Bruce Wayne came in, and he said, Joker, and he said, like, something that only the Batman would know, and Joker just looked at him, and then looked away, and it was like, at that moment, people knew, or not people, but Joker knew that Bruce Wayne was the Batman, but he just didn't, but knowing it and showing it would know would ruin the fun. Yeah. Like, Batman could easily fuck with Joker by simply saying, I am Bruce Wayne. I am Batman. Well, actually, and he would be the would... only person to know. Because in Joker's, like, brain, it's like, if, if he's the only person who knows who Batman truly is, then he's special. He gets, like, it's fun for him. Well, actually... The thing is, Joker can just go and tell anybody, and, you know, Spider-Man thing, he, everybody would know. But also, the real way to what? mess with Joker is to tell Joker's, like, real name before he became Joker. That's the one true way to break him. Even That's the Batman one thing that you never... That, though. Mm -hmm. I saw, I remember this oh. one line from Injustice 2... The single most disrespectful thing Harley Quinn said to Superman, right? Mm hmm I could beat your ass, Superman. And why is that? Alfred knocked your fucking ass out. And that is true. Alfred with kryptonite brass knuckles beat the ever-loving shit out of Superman. Like, not even fair. <laughs> I mean, he could he could have just given him a red kryptonite, and just Alfred could have done that. Do you know what the red kryptonite 
Kryptonite does. Uh, yeah, the pink the one. one is uh, the pink one. Here, I need the you to, pink one. I need you to remove. But yeah, these, if uh, Alfred doors. just gave, just gave um, Superman the pink one, he didn't even have to put up a fight. Alfred could just kick the crap out of him. So we're gonna. Uh, I need you to. Don't worry. I need you to dig a small hole in uh, the side of Totoro's house. Actually, wait, no, not the house, like the fence, so I can get in. I also need you to, uh, um, dig a hole. Break the stairs. Okay, well, can I mean, you also dig a hole in the floor next to the ladder so I can drop these guys in? Okay. But, yeah. Also, there's another theory that Batman isn't Batman. He is in, actually in the mental hospital in joker he that's batman's pay or that's batman's doctor and mr freeze is the guy who is the janitor who always keeps it cold who died of drugs i'm pretty sure uh, yeah and harley quinn is joker's assistant and yeah he's, she's like the nurse and um catwin is the nurse that he has a crush on but he, she still makes him take his medicine um bane he's like i don't know like the um physical health person yeah, he's like that the, helps him he's like the phys ed or the um like the the uh security because mm -hmm. notice bane was the only person to beat batman physically other than clayface and with clayface that's just not even fair like you may as well be trying to fight the ocean. You will lose. I've done that before. It does not end well. Yeah. Uh, see if you can get another oh, yeah. boat. Also, um, and Robin is like the other person stuck with Batman in the thing. Yeah. <clears throat> like all of the Bat family is just like Batman's uh, cellmates. And like everybody else. Like, all the other superheroes are the other people there. Hear me out here. This might be unpopular, and it most definitely is. The Harley Quinn Joker is my favorite Joker. Because it simply encapsulates oh, Joker as, like, peak Joker to me. Once Scarecrow so takes big. off of... Once Scarecrow takes off Batman's mask, Joker's, like, really pissed off and bored. Because he's like, oh, it's just a rich kid with issues. Oh, that's not fun. That's not fun at all. God damn it. Well, it was the same thing with Joker. Just like <laughs> Scarecrow does what Joker originally did. You know, like, just or, what Joker to, is going to, to do. Just because Scarecrow just takes off Joker's face. Can you fucking hear me? Can, I need you to make boat. Yeah. Boat. Boat make. So we can deliver these dudes to the boat. Boat make? Yeah, deliver the boats. Ooh, uh -huh. We're on the same page? Good. <laughs> booga booga. Yes. Good. I think it was, like, for cavemen. We... Just like those two idiots, look... like, Once trying to do with... something. Once we're done with this, you and me are basically on the same page when it comes to idiot caveman stuff, right? So we should make the town center and, like, beautify the center of the town and make it so it's, like... Because even though only you and Jackson live here at the minute, it's still kind of uggy. Like, there's random trees everywhere. We should move the podcast thing and make it, like, an official studio. Because if you ask... Should I move my house? No, I think your house is fine where it is. Like your house is fine, I mean, it doesn't look the greatest. But that could be fine. I mean, like, if you guys keep on moving away, like, I think I only I moved, I only move moved because I wanted more space. Totoro moved because she didn't like her house. But there, you've still got, like, two neighbors. You got my brother, and then you got, uh, Jackson. And then once we get more people, like, we could tear down all the old buildings... Like, I'll probably remove my oil, or my, uh, mining platform at some point, and, um, <clears throat> or, like, downsize it. Yeah. 
Be and uh, we'll make more room for more people. Because at some point, I want, like... You know... I, I don't want it to just be, like, when I log on, everybody else logs on. Because that's, like, not even the point of a realm. That's just, like, a world. At that point. And I want to avoid being a world-focused or, like, a owner-focused SMP again. Because those usually lead to the same thing happening over and over and over again. That being... If you start something, it's not going to really end, and it will just fester into something bad. I want it to be more of like a player-focused or member-focused server. Mm -hmm. So like, I, I want it so I, when I log off or log on... There's still, like, two, three people playing, even when I'm sleeping. Like, I doubt that'll ever really happen, but it'd be nice for it to happen. Like, eventually, if I find, like, you know, if, like, I have a viewer or something and I trust them, it'd be nice to actually get them... Because, like, you know... It'd just be fun. Like, I'm not saying I want something like Hermitcraft, where there's always people on, except for, like, a holiday. But it'd be nice to get something close to that. I went from the Batman conspiracies to this. Yeah. Men in a nutshell. Okay, boys. Now... Which stall shall we plan our Clash of Clans raid in? I vote the big one, because it's got the most space for most tactics, and it's got the whiteboard in it. However, stall number four, aka the little one next to the big one, does come with a speaker so we can announce our plans to the entire bathroom and potentially get more recruits on our side. But yeah... You and me, like, in the server, it's basically like cavemen, we're like, we are cavemen. We, we are Ooga cavemen. Booga. This is caveman energy right here. And, like, and just, Totoro, she's like the fancy person, the fancier person who goes, Totoro Ooga is, Booga. Totoro is essentially, like, the server's mother or matriarch. Like... Not only uh, is she, like, I'm pretty sure the only girl on the server, but, like, she's the only voice of reason aside from Calico, and that is never a good thing to have. Because if it were just you, me, Jackson, and, like, the occasional person who joins, it would be almost unplayable. None of these You're villagers basically just to ever leave this basically just the world to bounce. With us two. Yeah, this is essentially just turned into like... Oh, my bad. This is essentially turned okay. into the first day all over again, where if nobody else is on, it's just become Doji and Unreal SMP. It's like, it's like one real... It's like one annoying alarm clock keeps on going off of your back. What the fuck are you doing, you little sheep? Okay, I'm back. Oh, perfect. I posted my uh, YouTube avatar, which is like <gasps> supposed to be a little dragon thing, in the r slash uh, wings of fire official uh, subreddit. And somehow people like it. The first three comments were, it doesn't look the greatest, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, the next one was, 
I like it, although its neck is a little long, and somebody just saying noodle. Which <laughs> is how I draw my dragons. Like, any time I draw a dragon, unless it's specifically, like, supposed to be, like, a really short neck. Like, booga booga. Like, unless it's supposed to be a really short and stubby neck, I always draw it with a long noodled neck. They should make it like it's Java. Where you can, you know, put it on subtitles. Yeah, that'd be nice. I also wish there was a way to, uh, disable the fucking UI system, or at least, like, turn down Wait, what UI the system? opacity. Like, the X for crafting, Y inventory, leave, boat, like, dismount, e emote, break block, place block, drop. Oh, you can change so, those controls. I, I know I can change them. I want to just disable them. Like, I don't want them to appear on my screen at all. It's so annoying. No, you can just, um, there's a way that you can do that. Like, we do, make it so that's no button at all. Oh, what is it? Um, so, so put, so make it like jump is the button that you want, but then go back and make jump that button so that because then it'll take the button. No, from I mean that like I want thing. my custom controls. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I don't want that shit on my screen. I wait. What do you mean by that? Oh, you mean like the inventory and the boat thing by the side yeah. of your thing? Yeah, I don't want that. I was just wondering about that, but like, I don't know. What if you're new to the game? <laughs> and you just forget. I mean, like, there should still be a control thing to turn it off. <gasps> oh, okay, I did not mean to hit that guy. Okay. Wait, no, please tell me that isn't. Oh wait, this is the efficiency guy. But yeah, I accidentally hit this guy twice with my iron axe. Is there a way to fucking turn this shit off? Yeah, there we go. Hide controller hints. There we go. Oh, that's so much better. I get like a good third of my fucking screen back. Yeah, so go to controls. Like, go to controller, and it should just say, like, hide control hints. So useful. Okay, I don't know how people play without the controller cursor. The cursor, like, you know, the, yeah. the arrow in the front of it. The cursor is, like, like, the only way I can properly align my screen. Exactly, it's like... Dude, I had, like, I don't know if I've told you this. I had a gun, like, a gun mod called Actual Gun 3D. It was really fun to play. It got deleted from my account for some reason. I guess it's because uh, Big Brother Microsoft was like, No, you can't have mods. Please buy them from the store. We'll starve without them. No. A we have tons of dollars. We can't pay our... People. We have billions of dollars. We can't afford you not to spend two dollars at the marketplace for a gun mod that only works on one fucking world. And then, like, it. The thing is, I. Anyways, it had like this cool custom cursor, because it had its own texture pack and data pack for the guns. Of course, the cursor was so cool. Like, it looked like a standard shooter cursor, but would actually move when you sprinted, as opposed to the static crosshair of just regular Minecraft. Like, it was nothing mind-blowing, but it was so cool. And if you paired it with a gun, it would change, like, it would change its own, um, like, diameter. So, like, a shotgun would have a bigger blast radius than, like, a sniper rifle or a pistol. Or, like, an assault rifle would, you know... The longer you shot it, the bigger it would grow because it got more inaccurate. I remember, like, when I first discovered that um, your character camera, like, went up and down when you walked. Yeah, view bobbing. 
Like when I when first discovered that, that added... I, my mind was blown. I think it was added in like 1.13, 1.14. Because when I first started playing the game and I loaded in. <sighs> Thank yeah. you, Minecraft. Yes. Why can't I go Here. up this? Uh, this you were speaking yeah. about a thing, like. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. It pisses me off that I can't go up this one eighth of a block increase. Please, I am not going to be able to sleep if you don't finish this. I'll story. finish, I'll finish. But, anyways, it pisses me off that it uh, does that. Anyways. No, just... you can't just end up like that. I'm fucking trying oh. to. Oh, you're, you're I just about the I just now. forgot oh, no, what I was not saying because I was destroy. interrupted so much. But okay, it, like the more you moved with a gun, the more it would shoot, and it was so cool. Or like the more it, the cursor would move, it's so cool because for a Minecraft like a free Minecraft mod on Bedrock Edition to do that was pretty cool. Let alone it being pretty compatible and stable with Xbox. Like, it only, that mod only corrupted a world once. And that was probably because it was a world that was being converted from 1.16 to 1.17. And it just bothers me so much that Mo, that, actually not even Mojang, Microsoft will purposefully handicap themselves with these just idiotic restrictions simply so that way they can make an extra buck at, like, one inconvenient and pretty scummy like store like imagine having 10% of your entire business being stripped away like just completely handicapping that side of your business because it hurts 5% Most people will never buy something from the marketplace in their entire time playing Minecraft Bedrock. Because if you're playing Windows 10, go to Skin Decks, you get free shit. Playing Java, well, fucking, you don't need the marketplace at all. Because everything on Java is free. If, but only if you're playing something like Xbox, PS4, Switch, 360, or. No, actually, um, what's it called? The uh, the um, Xbox uh, 360. No, I already said it wasn't that. Uh, it was something else. DS. Yeah, DS, 3DS. If you're still playing on that, then uh, why? There's so many other things. I found the last village, Dirt. but I can't get him to fucking move. Huh? Huh. No, you're not going to sleep. Why? I didn't want you to break okay. that bed. I didn't want you to fucking break that bed. Ow. <laughs> okay, so I'll start taking up the beds. Okay. Uh... Like I don't I don't understand why they would purposefully handicap themselves. So like shooting yourself in the foot. Yeah, it it's basically exactly that's exactly what's happening. They're shooting themselves they're shooting off part of their they're ankle. Shooting off their toes. Yeah, they're shooting off all of their toes to save their ankle. Like they're shooting off their, sure it their saves fingers something. to save their the rest of their hand. Yeah. It, actually, that's a better that's a better representation of it. They're shooting off their most valuable fingers to save the use of their hand. Like, they're, sure, they're it getting works. rid of the fingers. Yeah, but like so once they can you have the hand, of, which is now useless. Once you get rid of your fingers, you can't do anything with your hand. I mean, like, you it's, can. It's there. Dub someone. Yeah. Nub somebody. 
Do you have any coal? You can do a sad punch. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. I have 37. Give me, like, four coal. And stop it with the beds before you fuck something up. Okay? Stay down here. You're gonna help me mine out this. Okay? I don't want the beds stacked any more than two things apart. So we're gonna go this way. Ow! Why the fuck did you say ow? I didn't hit you. Because I was scratching my arm and I accidentally hurt it. Oh. Help me dig this out a little bit further. So, A, there's no room. in the Cadillac. Ba 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 Wait, why are you just letting this stuff go? This could be, like, worth something. Oh, you. You see, free emerald. I don't have any inventory space, that's the problem. You, my good sir. Another emerald. You, my good sir, you are worth profit. <laughs> so you don't get to I escape. don't see you as a person, I see you as me. Ah, bam, Roblox. <laughs> I watched, like, a mini documentary about, um... Like, Roblox creators being treated like dog shit by the platform. Like, it essentially got- went into, like, sweatshop-style labor hours. Like, these kids were programming and playtesting for 16 hours. Fuck off before I actually kill you. <laughs> like, you almost just made me kill the most valuable villager here, out of spite. Who was it? The mending guy. The armor smith. The one oh. who sells diamond ah. armor. Like they're they're doing like sweatshop style labor hours. Like Sixteen hours a day for basically nothing. Start putting down like the rest of the beds. Like right here. Come on, double space. Okay, I, I want these fuckers out of my way. Just replacing these down. Emeralds are less important than the lives of our villagers. Without villagers, we have no emeralds. I only save you guys because you make me profit. Yep. And you are there, worth there's nothing. There's like actual organization for who will take what shifts at certain points based off of whether or not somebody is able like physically able to do any work it's not just like okay this person's sick that day it's are they passed out from exhaustion yet no well then they're good to work i think oh crap why are you sleeping on the ground he's just under the bed now cool are they passed out from like Sweat, like blood, sweat, and tears. Is their body dripping with piss, shit, and other bodily fluids? Probably blood from their numbed fingertips from coding all day? No? Then they're fine to work. We, besides, we have a game, we have a game add-on to release. How the hell else is anybody gonna know that, you know, Anime Fighters update number 622 is, uh, ready? Like, we have to add the new One Piece meme. It, it's all the rage. We'll, we'll be If we don't add it by this weekend, we'll be losing out on 10% of the total income that we could be getting. Come on, people. This is like we could lose 10% of the 11% of income that you get. It. Yeah. It's like... You're really gonna make these dreamy-eyed 10-year-olds do all of this shit for you while you sit back? Capitalism. Here I thought that Roblox was better than, like, actual fucking sweatshops, but apparently not. Roblox is Roblox. more than willing to sacrifice the well-being of a few dozen kids. Actually, probably a few What's a kid? Kids. I only see work people. Yeah, like, when people wonder... Why Roblox is seen as a negative thing. 
What do you have against Roblox? It's so, it, it's a, such a great game. Yeah, sure, it's a great game. But they're not great people. And that's not even including, like, the countless amount of, um, like, child, like, I, I don't even know how to describe it, but, like, grooming scandals against Roblox creators. Grooming out uh, accusations, some suddenly coming out of the blue once they... It's the creator of a game get popular. Uh, here, put down the rest of these beds. That's a torch. I need that. You should, you should uh, listen to uh, the advice that of a black. There's black another man bed. The There's another bed. Take it, damn it. No, 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 no. The funny thing is that actually happened. I don't know if I talked about it yet. This one YouTuber named Waffle Time who does uh, Terraria like challenge v videos. Moment he hit like 500k and established a Discord. Accusations of him attempting to groom a child on Discord surfaced right off the bat. He's been taking a break for like the past five months. I want to say it's fake, but he's been relatively smart with it and hasn't said jack shit until either more evidence surfaces in his defense or he's essentially taken down, which is probably the smartest thing for him to do. This is the Joe Rogan podcast where you talk no. about things. I'm not making uh, a also fucking I... second floor, okay? No, this is our room. This is our room. Where are we? No. Like? We have houses, okay? It's but a yeah, hit. Yeah. Well, for I only learned rooms. today who Joe Ro who Joe Rogan was. Uh, it was the guy, you know, like the guy. You know, it was like Coco or something. That his podcast. But no, it's that bald, funny guy. Yep. <laughs> funny <laughs> people. The buzz. All people are funny. The Buzz Lightyear bald podcast. But why are bald people like so? F I don't know. The more you ask me dumbass questions, the angrier I end up getting. A girl once asked me if, uh, if a carrot was a vegetable or a fruit. You know, that's not as strange as it may sound. Especially considering things like tomatoes are considered fruit. Also, how do you plant a carrot? Are they like seeds or is it a potato where you just plant it in the ground? It's kind of both. You just throw the fucker in the ground and it'll grow eventually. Make this your home, damn it! Wow. Oh. Oh, yeah. Don't we need to, like, bring down their workstation? No, we don't. They they just understand what to do right off the bat. Oh, I thought that I was gonna have to go. Sorry. And then the stonemasons get to be segregated from everybody else because they're just built different. The good, what the good fuck? people. What the fuck just happened? Minecraft. Oh. I have oh. an idea. I have an wait, idea. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. No, stop that. Stop that. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna see something. No. <gasps> yes. Doji, give me yes. Doji. Yes. Doji, do you have a stack of an item? I never mind, Doji. I have a stack of an item. We could hook up a dispenser to this. I could. Don't, don't pick up my shit, okay? We could hook up a dispenser to this and have it set out right outside 
the air of Totoro's house so that she can never stop it. I know how to make a clock using this. Like, an actual proper clock. Um, can I have some stone, please? I have no stone, Doji. You're rich than I am. Okay, what do you have? Okay, Doji, I'm villager. Four. No, I'm not talking to you. Okay, you have... Oh, okay, you have another book. Punch two, don't really need that. Punch yeah, two what do you have? Okay. Doji, remember... We <laughs> I'm about to Doji. punch you to the moon. Doji, remember... Yeah. Our main goal is to get a Fortune 3 book so that we can level up our second armor smith faster so that way I can buy a diamond chest plate. That is the whole reason this exists. So that you can get a diamond chest plate? Yes. If I didn't need a diamond chest plate, they'd still be stuck above ground where, you know, the sun shines and they, uh, Get an acceptable amount of vitamin C through the uh, windows. We should make like one little thing, like a basement thing, where just a white glass pane so that they can get sun. They don't need sunlight. There's plenty of torches down here. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make bread so that can they you can make, a lectern? make children. Mmm. You should make a lectern. How do you craft that? Bookshelf and Would slabs. You okay. I wrote some bookshelves. Actually, I can I just borrow some books? I don't have any doji. Okay. Wait, what? They have wings of fire plushies? I need to see this. What's a wings of fire? It's a book series I'm obsessed with. I like Dog Man. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> There's you like talking about an actual like, eh, like an actual book series than me. I like Doug Man. <laughs> How get? I'll be selling them on my <laughs> website. How get? I want them. I don't think they understand. They understood my question. How get? We're the embodied demons of cavemen. Bro, they just added in... netherite armor to Terraria. About time. Are you looking at... Um, did you f make the Terraria stuff like a part of your home on Xbox and you're just looking through their posts? No, I'm I'm on Reddit right now. <laughs> Wings of Fire is not a video game. It was supposed to be a TV show, and I'm pissed that it got canceled. Because right when I started to get into the book series, I found out, oh my god, there's going to be a TV, and it's been canceled. Fuck you, Netflix. Should have been a film that got okay. canceled. Hear me out here. Hear me out here. Hear me out here. Which of these sounds like a better... TV show to be made, right? One of them is about a traditionally black person, as in they were born black, they identify as black, whatever. Like, and then one of them is just woke for the sake of being woke. Black washing, gay washing, whatever. Whatever you want to call it, whatever buzzword you want to call it. Are you talking about Velma? Thing. No, I'm not talking about Velma. It does not need any more attention than the already meager amount of spotlight it got. So, there was a story about a African slave trader going to Japan and then 
a bunch of samurais bought a, a black man as a slave, set him free, and he trained with them to become a samurai and became, like, the first black samurai. I don't see a TV show about that guy. Or what about the slave turned, like, civil war fighter who captured a Confederate ship and went around liberating slaves along the Mississippi River? I don't hear about that shit. But you know what we get? We get a TV show starring Joan of Arc, who was a real person in French history, a real fighter, a real warrior, a real person. Who will be cast as who in an upcoming movie or TV show will be cast as gender neutral? What the fuck? No. Joan of Arc. I hate a real. I person. hate after COVID. I would say well, being I've... stuck in lockdown had better effects on humanity than this shit. Because at least people were inside. To keep their stupidity contained. And then, now, once they were let out, shit. they're... Oh, once they were let out, suddenly... <gasps> I just sure? realized... Like, are we absolutely my... positive that COVID does not have negative effects on the human brain? People, like, once they were let out, their anti-Jimmy Neutron brain cells went... There are more than... There are more than two gen... And there are suddenly these many sexualities. You see, there's non binary. You know, you're I don't not care about to the anyone. Whole sexuality thing. Like, that shit doesn't bother me. What does is people forcing it on somebody else. Like, my dad put it a really good way that would made me go from, like, wow, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of offensive of you there, dad, to, wow. Thanks for telling me about that. It essentially went, you can, like, you can identify as anything you want. I don't care. But the moment you start, so well. you, the moment you start telling somebody else what you're going to call them, or what they're going to call you, and they're going to like it, it suddenly becomes, like, n no, I, I don't think so. <laughs> hey, I'm a he, she. Why? I'm, I'm a what? He, he. My pronouns are Michael Jackson. <laughs> he, he. But yeah, how can your pronouns be he and she? Like, I'm sorry. Can you switch between genders like a frog? I are you an amphibian? Like, it's like a clownfish where, like, if the male in the relationship dies, the female will turn into a male, or vice versa. women if they wanted rights. I'm sorry. I have been trying to be not sexist for like so long now. I needed something like that just to get it off my mind. I have been keeping in my sexism like over a few weeks now and I just needed the, that one thing to help me get through this. Oh, you're not even here to hear me say it. Never mind. No, I'm here. I'm just ignoring you. Did you even hear what I said? Unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, I've been, I've been trying to be not sexist for like a while now. It's kind of hard. Not when there's like so many reasons why you want to be sexist now. Like, no, so more maybe if you just thought like maybe you're just like an asshole, and that's why. I think it's because I think that I'm anonymous online. So that I can share my opinion. But yeah, I've been trying to stop being sexist.
I don't believe that for a second. No, I promise you. You, you can tell I... yourself that if it makes you feel better. No, I promise you. Is Totoro I have online been... yet? No, but boring. I promise you. I uh, am trying to stop being sexist. You just knew it. You just noticed that. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at my phone for the past like five minutes. Don't sleep near me. How can I stop being so sexist? You can go outside and touch some fucking grass. That helps. I've done that today. Have you done it more than twice? Yes. Good. Next, I you think can stop it's strength out my brain. Next, you can um, enroll yourself in an active sport. Second, you can go get some. I'm going to do friends. football. Oh, that's good. This they isn't football season. So yeah, the my friends I, I are like... currently a girl with like ADHD. Give me the dirt. Stop fucking placing dirt. I've dealt so, with yeah, this a girl shit with ADHD, too many times. Um, and, and a kid that also is very, very hyper. Oh yeah, during lunch, during yeah, you know, we have A days and B days. We're basically like A days, you know. You have different main teachers, but you have the same electives. Yeah. But like on the, but like that's a day of those teachers B day. So yeah, my first A day we have lunch on our first on our first with our first teacher. So yeah, I just sit there and eat my lunch with this girl, and she just draws, and also like they draw Kermit like with a gun to his head, and she'll be like, "You genius." <laughs> Anytime oh, it's me to I hear draw. about that, and that's just the first thing I think of for no reason. Oh yeah, I once asked her to draw a guy. Yeah. Um, so he... Yeah, the guy... So his backstory is... His wife cheated on him. And she took most of his money. But... Or like, she didn't take any of his money because she thought that he was poor and a loser. But it turns out that he had gotten a new promotion, he now has an excellent job, and now he has like a bunch of money. And the thing is, he spent, he now has a girlfriend that he's been cheating on her with, but now she can't prove it for more, for money now. And now he has a good life, and she, and she's on the run for cocaine. Jesus, fuck. Like, she's from, she's running from the police. I was just gonna tell my story about my sports thing, but it seems like you just need some better friends. Oh no, she she's a good friend. I think she has a troubled home life, and this is her way of expressing it. Yeah, she says that you can't find her dad. Ah, uh, she must be on the run from narcotics. Her but yeah, just Walter White. I don't know what good friends are because I've been around people. Friends, so... Yeah, no, I've been around. Great start. My friends are usually people that clown on me. Yeah. So yeah, like when I'm introduced to like some nice people, I'm like. Why aren't you clowning on me? Why aren't you insulting me? Because I see you as a valuable friend, and, uh, you know, I like you for who you are. Okay, now, Where, where's stop the, the crap. Camera? What do you where's, actually where's think? The where's the camera? <laughs> where's the bullshit? Cut the, cut the shit. Where's the laugh track? I know this shit ain't real. I'm gonna wake, I'm gonna, like... Get my life together, get married, like, to the love of my life, have kids. And I'm just gonna, like, say one day, where's the fucking alarm clock? Where is it? None of this shit is real. 
to have a full blown mental breakdown in front of my children. And be like, Dad, are you okay? Where the fuck is the alarm clock? I know this shit isn't real. Dad, then you just look at them Dad, and you. Daddy, here's the alarm clock. Tell me the name of God, you electronic piece of shit. Now I'll take it a divorce speedrun. I'm speed fucking run. scared of you. Me oh, she's after. Sleeping. She's fucking sleeping. I need help. I need help. Wait, never mind. I made the. I made it so that you that it's harder to escape the boy box. I'm just gonna coat the thing. I'm just gonna coat the thing in obsidian. Just make the top obsidian. Oh, I have a perfect idea, right? There's like one way to prevent somebody from leaving the fanboy box. Doji, Doji, put the block. No, no, Doji, put the block back. Put the block back. <laughs> and we. <laughs> it takes like two blocks, Doji. Okay, now go in there. And you're stuck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think that my dad just caught me online. I don't know. I took um, a screenshot please... of you in front of the fanboy box and shake. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm gonna post that in the Discord. <laughs> Totoro is getting online. She is? Yeah. She just said in the Discord. She said she was sleeping. Honestly, who sleeps nowadays? Sleeping's for the weak. I just, like, exist in pain constantly. And then regret my actions the next day. You ever just, like, stay up, like, way too late? And then you know instinctively by around, like... The first time you're, like, awoken from your sleep, like, I've already made a massive mistake today. If I could go back in time nine hours, I would just suck it up and go to sleep. Like, I don't need to watch Bravo that two-hour dark. Work. God damn it, my dad just messaged me. What did he say? I don't know. I'm scared. Oh, you're a Mexican, all right. Waver? <laughs> Who's music man? That's uh that one guy. That's my friend Benjamin. Why is, Why is he, he always, always online? online? He's music man because he's in band and he hates it. But band is one of those things where like if you take it one year, you're stuck with it. Because our school is too cheap to uh like continually teach band to new kids. So, like, you gotta take band for two years. And I think, like, as replacement for PE or something. And then, then you can leave. But at that point, band is all you know. So you're kind of just stuck with band. And, all, and uh, all the band kids bully you for leaving band. But, however... It's all fair because we bully the band kids for being in band, so. Except for my friend because he plays the saxophone, so. He's automatically like. He's automatically on top. Have you ever heard of saxophone? Huh? Have you ever heard of saxophone? I need you to speak up, I can't hear you. Have you ever heard of Okay, a little bit more clearly, like... Have you ever heard of Trexophone? Oh, yeah, I have. <laughs> I'm stealing this beehive. <laughs> My bad, bud. Did I just take your fucking home? Here. 
Go in. It's right here. Nope, there you go. Did you make the lectern yet? No, you didn't. You didn't fucking make the lectern yet, like I asked you to three different times, did you? Swear to God. Did he go AFK again without any, like, reasoning? Mm. Nope, nope, he's still here. Can I be an admin? Uh, why? I don't know. There's no point in being an admin, I just gave it to the first people to join my server, which were my friends. Because, uh... I don't know. I was too lazy, I guess. They don't really do anything, because there's, like, no people. And also, Damon doesn't know how the fuck to use Discord, aside from joining a voice channel and messaging. Yes, I know how to use slash. No. Come in. Damon doesn't have, like, a traditional phone like we do. Like, he's using his tablet on Discord because he has a flip phone. Because his parents <laughs> hate him. What was I trying to get? Oh yeah, sugarcane. My microphone is shitting out again. Fantastic. I wonder if with my Xbox bucks, if I can buy a uh, headset. You should have lots of stripper. The thing is, I removed all the bots I could because I was tired of getting fucking level up messages every time I would type a sentence. And with the amount of spam that we fucking type, it's just not even worth it. Me six, six about to go and give, give us a oh, can you fix that? Fix what? The echo. It's not echoing. It is echoing. For you. God damn it, Doji. <laughs> Lectern acquired. Feather falling too. Hey, Doji, can you get off your ass and help me? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I need you to monitor Sorry. that guy's trades until it says fortune two or fortune Who? three. Who's? The villager that keeps oh, this picking. The, no, the villager with green spike sparkles around his thing. He's sleeping right now. This guy? Where is he? Efficiency okay, four. This guy. Yep. Okay. He's monitoring his trades? You have to leave okay. his you have to leave his inventory, Doji. Okay, let me check. And look for the dude with green sparkles. It, it might be a different fucker every time. That's the okay. wrong one. Yeah. Okay. Imagine we get rid of the mending guy. It's not, because we already traded with him. It's not that fucker, Doji, so go find another person. Okay. You're not wanted here. Why 
Why aren't you refreshing your fucking trade? <gasps> Wait, what about this? This guy. Doji, you're no actually, isn't. Doji, you're actually fucking stupid. Okay. Okay. Okay, yep, yeah, I saw that, I saw that, I saw that. It's a, it's it was this guy. It's the same fucker. It's this guy. Mending, wait. We, it, no. Doji, Doji, Doji. I need you to look at the patches, okay? If it's an iron patch, it's not somebody new. So we have one, two, three. Are you a different villager? Four. So then who the fuck isn't falling in line over here? All four of you fuckers should have a, a job here. We go over here. Oh, you. No. Wait. So the sharp five. Mending. Efficiency. Unbreaking. Go to sleep. Why are the fuck? I'm gonna block this part off. Get out of there. It was this guy? No, that's the sharp five guy. That's, that's the fourth guy. Look, if you don't leave this corner, I will kill you, okay? Sharp five is not that useful. I only oh, I have it. Yeah, I know. I don't. I only keep him around because sharp five is cheap, and I don't want to enchant things multiple times. So if he doesn't leave, he's stuck in the corner because he's stupid. I have an idea. Come out of there. Why? There's no reason. He's still stuck over here. Yep, there we go. We're gonna block Wait, him. Did you Get the fuck out of here now! Oh. Sorry. Don't block it off, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for games, Doji. Alright, perfect. Go the fuck to sleep. Go the fuck to sleep! There you go. <laughs> Find an empty bed. Okay, or not. Now. Are all of the villagers smart enough to find their workstation? Or... Oh, okay. This is progress. So if I break this, <laughs> nobody should be getting pissy. What about you? Okay, so you're just a standard cleric. I think, I think that, that maybe, maybe when the children, children grow up, up they, they might. might. Yeah, that's that's probably gonna be it. Uh, <laughs> so we just have to <gasps> wait for them. Hello. Is she online? Yes. yes. Is she message in the Discord, or does she invite you? No, no she, she said in the uh, gamers. gamers. Yeah. Mm. I invited to her. I invited her to a party like four different times. How did you, you do, do that? that like, like one, one fight? fight. What? How do you show um four invites in one invite? It's uh the it's. I feel so hurt. I invited you four times. Bruh. Bruh. Yep, I can tell. Yeah. I can- I can already tell that you're on your phone. 
Oh yeah, we made um, we upgraded the villager farm. I only gave them a nicer house. I mean, I only gave them a nicer like pit, simply because I wanted more lecterns for Fortune Three, because I was getting sick and tired of not having a diamond chest plate. It's a nice pit, okay? I'm putting your house to good use. Better than a cramped... It, it, I mean, it's better than a cramped house. Yeah, I'm turning... I'm, I'm turning your old house, like the basement thing that Jackson dug for no fucking reason. I just turned it into a villager hole. Somehow it looks nicer than... Somehow it looks fucking nicer than, um... Than, uh, the, the old, old place. And by nicer, I mean more spacious. We should just not tell Jackson about this and let him find out. Yeah. We should just, like, burn down the bottom part of your house and make it look like a, like something bad happened to the villagers. And in reality, just, we just not tell him that. that there. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Who is that? 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 That just... Oh, okay, yep, there's a new guy, there's a new guy. Oh, shit. I ah, he sells sharpness good. one. Oh. Uh, he sells sharpness no. one. No, we just got one. We just, uh, this guy, roll, we just started rolling them. This guy has sharpness one. Do you remember... Like, Riptide! This guy sells Riptide! Which Riptide level, though? Two. Oh, no. Riptide... Okay. Riptide 2, dude, compared to Riptide 3, is laughable. This guy... For nine Who the fuck emeralds, is you can buy a bookshelf. Is that a Sega Dreamcast that I just heard? For nine emeralds, you can buy a bookshelf. That's your Xbox. Did Which you have Xbox, Xbox 360? Make a GameCube intro thing too. <laughs> this guy's this guy sells a bookshelf for nine emeralds. Profit. I so did you know that if you cure a villager, you if you if you cure a villager enough times, uh, he'll sell a bookshelf for one emerald and he'll buy. Oh, you used to be able to sell Bro, this... one book for one emerald. And you used to be able to just buy bookshelves for one emerald. So it eventually just turned from, you buy a bookshelf, you make three emeralds. You buy a bookshelf, you make three emeralds. And you would always make two emerald profit. This guy has the best trades ever. He <laughs> 22 emeralds in a book for Curse of Vanishing. You know, unlike a faction SMP, that's actually not too terrible. Because I would always put Curse of Vanishing on my Lodestone Compass. So if I died, nobody would ever find it. But if you find your stuff... Well, then I I have, like, plenty. Uh, Frostwalker. No. You know what? No, I kind of want that. Doji. Please just let me get my fortune. Okay. Doji. Just okay. check his trades and I'll break it. Multi shot one. I'll, I remember Doji. I break it if I don't think it's worth it. Projectile protection three. You didn't even have to say three. I already know it was garbage. Riptide one. Ew. That shit nasty. Huh? If Quick charge no, one. If there's no book, just say no book. Okay. Curse of binding. Multi shot one. Sharpness three. Bookshelf.
Looting too. Oh fuck, I should have kept that actually. Blast protection one. Blast protection's like the the black sheep of uh cursed of finding one. Like nobody really where the fuck did Oh here you go. Nobody really like nobody really likes blast protection. It's like Bane of Arthropods, it's just there. Loyalty one. Blast protection's just there because they needed more enchantments. Bookshelf. What? Smite three. Fortune two. Oh, that was fortune fuck. two. Oh, <laughs> it didn't You're register in time. God. Bane of arthropods. Yeah, we're being, we're being cursed now. Oh my fucking god. Bookshelf. Yeah. Smite one. We're being we're being punished. It's gonna give us like Bane of Arthropods next. Infinity one. Yep. This is this is my hell now. I, I'm breaking two. Doji, now can you see how I how we how me and Jackson managed to do this? Bookshelf. If we get mending for like eight emeralds, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I'm breaking two. For this eight is, emeralds. Doji, th th can you see now? Bookshelf. Why can you see now how me and Jackson were able to do this for like 30 minutes straight? Bookshelf. Bookshelf. Shocker, the next one's a bookshelf. <laughs> Punch two. God damn it. <laughs> we have it on bows. Multi shot one. Bookshelf. Please just let me get fortune again. Bookshelf. God damn it! Stop. Bookshelf. Stop. <laughs> Bookshelf. This is the second fucking stream I've broken lecterns for half an hour. Blast is protection one. <laughs> Looting two. Okay, I'm keeping this one. <laughs> Bookshelf. No. <laughs> for no, thirty emeralds, I don't think looting two for thirty stop. emeralds is worth it. So you gonna go back on the grind? Fortune three is most important to the cause. Fortune two for twenty emeralds. He gets to live. <laughs> I'm going to get paid for fuck this. <laughs> How much was it? For 20? Yeah. I have, crap, crap, crap. I have 14. God damn it. Oh, by the way, in my house, if you need paper, in my house, if you go behind my staircase, I've been, like, stocking up on paper. And if you want. Alright, thank you. Alright, so. You're, you're let welcome. Me just, let me just explain how this stream started, right? This has been going, yeah. this has been going on for 103 minutes. <laughs> It's been going on for oh. even longer but since before I started streaming, right? It's been going mm -hmm. like this. I My only goal this entire stream has been trying to buy a diamond chest plate from one armor smith. I started Did it work out, out mining. I tried to mine my ore. For that, I went back to the skeleton spawner to, to get levels to make a fortune iron pickaxe. I didn't get enough level, or I didn't get Fortune 3. I got everything but Fortune 3. Bookshelf. <laughs> Bookshelf. <laughs> Yummy. It's like that one Tetris video they sent in Haha -ha Funny. Since, Bookshelf. since I'm giving you the paper, can you guys... Bookshelf. Since I'm Bookshelf. giving you the paper, I have to shut the fuck up. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll anyway, I'll, since I'll, I'm giving you... Yeah, yeah. Get me a Fortune book. Yeah, Come if, on. I, if I get enough emeralds for it, I'll buy you one. Wait, it's for paper and emeralds? No, I mean, you need a book and you need emeralds to get it, but you also, but you get oh. emeralds from the paper. 
But we were once. I'm um, talking about um Batman theories. Yeah. Anyway. It was like the Joe Rogan podcast, but just Batman <laughs> theories. So there's a theory that Batman is actually a bitch ass motherfucker. Oh, by the way, Batman's um, not real. He, it's a new imagination. You get, if you guys get clay, you can just use the clay and get emeralds from that. It's only ten clay. Yeah, I figured stone would be easier because it's stone. And I, but, you know, just had happened to have found a big ass pit in the ground that had quite a bit of stone in it. Oh wow! Oh, wait. I didn't you know, I could I don't use know. all of this beautiful land for farming and, uh, well, like, whatnot. Like where... But we're Americans, we don't do that. Mm -mm -mm. Idaho does it. No, you guys are There's white people, you guys land. shouldn't do this. There's all this beautiful arable land filled with natural stuff. You know what I smell? Perfect for uh, farming. Oil. Perfect for farming, agriculture, building. But there's this one thing in the back of my head. Something tells me Maybe a stone oil. mine. Something tells me a stone mine would just look perfect in my backyard. What do you say? Oh yeah, did you guys see? I the say little oil. Thing I made? The what? The little mine thing I made. Does it make oil? <laughs> I mean, you oil. can make it make oil. Yeah, I saw the mine you made yesterday. I like, guess yeah, I logged so... on like, in like an hour after I got off, and nobody was online. Not a single one of my friends was online. Haha, <laughs> you're friendly. But then I might. Then I was like online in like a few minutes. No, you weren't, Edgy. Wow, you gotta lie to him like that. Are you fucking kidding me? I didn't! Oh my god! I'm gonna fucking kill myself. <laughs> Did this what change happened? good? No. Did this change? Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I hit myself, I hit myself. so hard by Minecraft. I spent Wait, half an hour with Jackson grinding for a mending book. The first villager we let stay as a regular villager, like was the sharp five guy. I just accidentally sold all of my paper to him for emeralds, right? Unlocking his ne his next trade, which was a fucking mending book. <laughs> he sold a fucking mending book this whole goddamn time. Is it lower price than the one that we have? No, it's like eight times, it's like five times as expensive, but still. Way to fuck with me, Minecraft. Wow. The Minecraft gods hope, just like watching you like. Get, Stop! Get, don't get mention dark, Minecraft you? gods, please. Do not. RNG Jesus. We don't bring in RNG Jesus. Hero Brian. Hero Brian. And beat the shit out of me. We have, you have, the, you have really good luck, and I can tell. I have fantastic luck when I'm wishing somebody else good luck. Uh, my luck used to suck Imagine. until I bought this package. You see, every twenty-five dollars a month, you get a package on how to improve your you guys luck. Are annoying. I know. Not not you, Toji, but just especially on real. Okay. You're 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 okay. You're okay, Doji. I'm cool with you. It's just you know. Finally someone not insulting me. You're welcome. You're welcome, Doji. Doji was talking to me about the special ed kid at his school. Beat the shit out of his <laughs> bully. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bro, I it, swear it was basically I... this autistic kid fathers another autistic kid and this kid kept on beating the crap out of him and I helped him one time. Special forces. Bro. <laughs> Bro. If, if I were to if I were to go if I were to go in the principal's office, it would be because this special <laughs> ed kid wanted a kid. 
No, 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 no. It's because some special ed kid wanted to mess with me on a day that I was not having it. Your Honor, he stole my, my pop defense, tart. Your Honor, in my defense, I said oopsie poopsie. Exactly. The but said that it was special Your Honor, ed. the sped kid wanted smoke. Okay. <laughs> um, I said J K. So technically, I shouldn't even be here. <laughs> your Honor, my, your Honor, my client pleads oopsie daisy. <laughs> It was on accident. No, it was a joke, man. <laughs> it was just a prank. Your Honor, my like client did a little trolling. <laughs> half of the half the population of China is gone. Your Honor, my client did a little bit of trolling. <laughs> what do you Honor, mean trolling? You pumped a nursing home. Your Honor, my client did a fair amount of trolling in his time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bro, we need some troll. <laughs> I swear, those special egg kids, there's this one kid named Marcus, and he's like, he's like a whole ass marshmallow, and he wanted to mess with me. Bro. I don't know what it is, but with sped kids, it's like they know that you can't fight them without, without like, recourse happening to you. So they just try the stupidest shit and they get away with it. Doji exactly, was talking because about how the special sped kid, ed. The thing is, Doji was talking about the, about the sped kid fought a trash can every day for years. Okay, and lost to the it sometimes. And he sometimes used a, a broom. <laughs> he lost to the trash Bro. can. And <laughs> that kid beat up a kid that was larger than him like now, multiple times. If you would because be so he was beating up the to trash let me can. Share my wonderful story. All right. So there was this one time. This. What do you mean your wonderful story? I have it's my amazing, story. No, no, no. I have an amazing tale to tell you, even better than trash can kid, slayer of bullies. <laughs> slayer of <laughs> Steven, the, the shatter, autism kid. Shatter, slayer of Steven, the shatterer of nuts. Okay. So this kid. <laughs> This kid has he's like maybe 15, 16 years old, sophomore to junior. He's he's autistic. He's he's interesting. L. He has he's interesting. Shut the fuck up, Doji. Okay. He has the <laughs> mental capacity of what feels like a like 11 year old. Like he has hundreds of dollars of model trains just chilling in his in his garage why he was the type of kid that when they were like four years old was either really invested in dinosaurs or trains for no reason or dinosaur trains yeah or dinosaur oh you guys trains. ripped up my stairs what the that hell doji. i just bought a fortune book and i need 35 levels Bro, there's literally a little <laughs> little farm over here <laughs> What? What? What is this? What? Bro! You guys got a whole system down here! Oh my god! What? You guys got a whole system down here! Oh yeah, we, we, got, a, we got a whole community down there! We exactly! Got a mayor, we even got, bro. A mayor, we bro. got a mayor down there. Anyways, what? This 16 year old kid who's really invested in fucking trains has. A custom made hoodie. Light gray that just says black text, like size 40 font. I like trains. Oh, I don't... do you mean like from ADS movie? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's from Asdiv movie or just saying I like trains. I have no idea. This this group of kids, like I don't know if they were same age level. They looked like they looked like they were about the size of like a seventh grader, but they were probably like ninth graders. They, they wanted, they wanted to fight this kid. They wanted smoke. I don't know why. Like maybe this he pulled kid, out his his may, train maybe, and just strangled them. Maybe this kid they just showed their today. girlfriends or crushes his model trains, and they just liked him more than them. I don't know. I don't know what their deal I have was. Thomas maybe they just wanted to feel tough by fucking up the special ed kid who liked trains. They tried to, like, shank him in the bathroom, right? They grabbed pocket knives, tried to stab him. He blocks one of them with his hand. As in, the knife blade 
goes through his fucking palm. And he just what the hell? knocks their fucking teeth in. Like, you ever see, like, a John Wick scene or, like, a really over-the-top action scene where it's, like, you know that if somebody tried that in real life, they would either die trying or go to prison for life? That's how that felt. Wait, you were there seeing this? I was there. It was in the middle of the quad, dude. Like, there was, like, at least 50 people watching them. You said that this was in the kids. bathroom. No, it was like, I didn't mean, sorry. It was near the bathroom. Like, think of, like, a giant open, like, cement with grass area. And then there's, mm -hmm. like, four hallways on, like, in, like, an X formation, right? On mm -hmm. the bottom right, there's, like, a bathroom. Right, right around there, like, within, like, we're, we're, we're radius, learning about a special ed kid. There's, there's, like, uh, the sped kid sitting on the ground, eating lunch. You know, just playing by himself with his model trains. With his little trains. Yeah, he brought, his, he brought a few trains to school. They're, like, you know, the size of Thomas. wheels. Aww. Thomas and the tank, like, the tank engine. He just... Like, these kids say... I, I don't know... I don't know what their deal was. They just wanted to fight him. He, it's like... walk, he grabs the knife with his hand, so it's sticking through, like, yeah, the I'm gap in his knuckles. Like, what the you hell? know your middle and, uh, like, pointer finger. Like, yeah. the blade is, like, kind of stuck in there. And it's, it's cutting him up. Like, you could see blood dripping down his hand. It, that wasn't a flawless stop. What do you expect? Puppies like, and rainbows but, to come out? Like, but, what? but he managed to stop the knife with his hand. And he pulls it away. Grabs something fucking heavy as hell out of his bag. And just knocks this kid out. He grabbed his Thomas the Tank Engine knuckle. I don't know what it was. Punchers. It was so fast. Grabs something from his bag, clocks him in the head, and he goes down. Like he's done you know, with you know, it. You know, have you seen the scene from the first Avatar movie where they get yeah. unplugged from their bodies and they just hit the ground? That's what it yeah. looks like. <laughs> That's what it looked like, bro. He what if the like, kid just like pulled out a train? And just like clock like his head with it. It could have been a train for all I know. Like he was just <laughs> out like of chucks. it. He got He one, was not feeling it. And then the he next was not kid, feeling, it. feeling a bit more courageous, goes in and tries to get him like in between his neck and shoulder, which probably would have fucking killed him. Had the sped kid not just tackled his ass to the ground. What? It was so fucking funny to see. This five foot six kid absolutely demolish a kid who has at least a good six inches on him, if not more. Just grabs him by the waist, shoulder and neck firmly planted in his stomach and abs, just on the ground. Whoa there, buddy. Getting a little bit too touchy. Forget touchy. There's fucking blood coming out the back of his head. <laughs> and then I couldn't see anything else, but I just saw this kid hit the ground and just stop. Like, he was not going anywhere. The next kid runs <laughs> off. Security shows up because somebody was like, holy shit, this guy is beating the hell out of these two out of these, these guys. And security comes in. Five fucking officers walk up take everybody out of the quad and just pull this this kid it takes three full-grown men to take this fucking this, like, this little it, special this, ed kid it takes it takes three grown men to peel this kid off and by the time we could see the dude's face that he was just fucking clobbering there was 
<laughs> Bro, it's quivering. Goldie, you know how you oh described the kid's, like, broken nose as if, like, when he was punched, blood from his nose ended up on the wall behind him? Mm hmm There was, like, blood splatters. Like, multiple Why is this feet, funny to you? Multiple feet away from him. It's not funny to me because somebody got hurt. It's funny because these guys tried shit on, like, the nicest kid there and got their shit ran. I would say kids, you were a psychopath. All kids moved schools, I think, less out of, like, shame and not that they were expelled, but more out of fear of what would happen next. You see, this is what happens when the retard guard looks away. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I know you did not no! just describe No! Stop! Oh. <laughs> no, you did not <laughs> just fucking say that. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, oh dear why would you god. See that? You know what's funny? There, there's this, there's a special. That's okay. horribly here's funny. Here's a, here's a, here's a, a special ed kid that wanted to fight me. Okay, so one day I was in gym and I ran into this girl and she was in, cause I just tripped a little bit. I ran into this girl, and she, she was one of the special ed kids, and so. L. She, she had a really bad attitude. She rolled her eyes at me. I was like, what the hell? I said, I said sorry like seven times. And she is that that's not good for her. Cause I'm I would say like sorry, 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 I'm sorry. Okay, and then she would and then the normal person would be like, Oh, it's fine. But she you know, she wasn't she, she was annoyed. The thing with special ed kids is if you try to fight them, you can only lose. Exactly. They won't get so, in trouble. Exactly. Even if they started, they're so, like, as I was... if, even if a white kid calls you the N-word, and you punch them, it's like, hey, they're special ed, they can, they can say the N-word as many so, times as they want and not so, be black, so and like, bitch. it's okay. Bro, as, as, I was, as I was saying too. before somebody rudely inter <laughs> interrupted me, as I was saying, um, so, <laughs> like, like, this was on Friday. So the next, then, after gym class, um, uh, I was talking to my friend nicely. I was like, oh, yeah, so this is what happened. And, like, whatever, you gotta get it. And then Kimberly tells this girl named Jim, like, Jeannie, Jeannie, Jeannie. Um, she's, they're both special ed. This girl named Jeannie, she has, like, one of those teachers that watches them all the time, you know? Yeah. The card. Like motion on point. <laughs> yeah, the up, card. <laughs> and so she she tells she tells the guard and no. she comes up to she her and Kimberly comes up to me growling. I swear. I literally heard a growl out of her mouth. I'm not even joking. Furry. Furry. Exactly. <laughs> Bro was so mad. She growled. She's like, don't mess with my friend. And I was like, what the hell? <laughs> what is this girl doing? It's so and my friend was right behind me while this happened. And Kimberly was like, I'm gonna tell the principal on you. <laughs> so I was like, How bro, did I didn't even do to anything. That situation with your life. I I didn't I was I was slowly I was I was I was so traumatized you after that experience. You? Put your head down Shut up, and back away slowly. Shut up. I didn't know what to do when I was talking. So the next day, Miss Casey, that's her guard, and she's like a whole ass gorilla. Like a white gorilla, okay? She, she had to be to contain all of that shit. <laughs> Bro, but like a gorilla plus a hippopotamus. Okay? Oh, damn. So she would have killed him right then and there if it wasn't her fucking job. <laughs> and then she was short. She was short. I don't, and then, so she brings this was on friday like i said then she decides to bring the situation all the way to miss c <clears throat> and miss c is a guidance counselor so she, don't she brings me to the shit. office <laughs> so i got called to the guidance counselor i was like what did i do 
like like I was nervous because I already had like another incident with some other special ed kid that had a unibrow, a unibrow. <laughs> anyway, um, motherfucker looked like balloon boy from Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> and so, she it's said so that mean, apparently, it's so funny. <laughs> apparently, apparently, oh, uh, you you did. You came up to Kimberly and Jeannie aggressively and yep. started calling them mean names and you called Kimberly dummy th- seven times. Yep. I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking do it again. I mean, the dummy part, I, I was saying it in my head because she, she sucks at gym. Her. She can you know? Yo. Anyway. And I was like, oh, they came up to me. What are you talking about? You they're can built, barely ask my friend. It's like just the same book thing. character who can read minds. Exactly. Dog man. <laughs> Shut like, the fuck you know? up, Doji. <laughs> Guys, look at the video is, that I just put it in the Discord. Dog man, you fucking persona, you weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's the strongest character in the comic universe. If, if Doji. Wait, no, it's Garfield who's the strongest. If dog, if Doji would have been a furry, it would be Dogeman. No. Or like Garfield. You see, I should just keep my mouth shut because that's why you guys make me the main joke. If you keep your mouth shut, you're a furry. I can't. I can't. I'm not going to keep my mouth shut. You dirty little twat. Like honestly, you should speak like a on... British person. You're a furry. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna speak like a British person. I what did I do? Mom, POV, POV, you go to a, you go to a transition doctor. Okay, guys, when uh, is the last image missing from this? I'm, I'm, the bathroom part. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Okay. I don't look at the, know last, what the fuck look at the last said. two images. I've actually turned my Discord to the fucking group chat all over again. <laughs> You, you, missed the, you missed the peanut butter. Please. The peanut butter. Yes, you got it right. You get nothing. <laughs> you you get loneliness. I'm 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 crying. I'm you about to have of, a heart attack because of you. You, <laughs> a heart you attack. gain nothing. You gain a sense of loneliness <laughs> in your life that will never be filled ever by another human being. You will die alone. No. You would, you're like the person to most likely die alone. You're damn you're right. Real. Exactly, so shut up. Uh, <laughs> shut your Look mouth. Look at the last image. Don't Wait, no. I, that, that, that's... Aha funny. I need you. I need you to play what it. What did I just see? <laughs> I need you to play it. <laughs> There's going to be like the N-word played like <laughs> 20 times no, fast. No, because that's not my style of humor. <laughs> Look right, <laughs> look right, look up, look what right. What was the Fuck reason? You. Bro, <laughs> <Hello. laughs> oh, like, stop! Like, <laughs> I, 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 the sound, the sound to that gave me deja vu. Because not deja vu. You're in a fucking zombie. Bro, it reminds me. Zombies are reading that shit. <laughs> Exactly, bro. I don't know what movie that's from, but it just—I know it's a blood scene. You're invited it's a whole to my epic sleep blood rover. scene. A sleepover for cool bros. I bought oh. I bought snacks with my allowance to you from me. My mom said we can stay up till eleven. The funny thing is, this is how every single birthday <laughs> invitation I ever got or received. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know fucking that. laid out. Bro, all right, look at the one you're I depressed said. like look that. At, at I'm I having a. Yeah, I've seen that one. You I'm said going it before. To a I, I need you. To, I, I, I get no. on my leg. No, that's not. That's not at all what it is, Doji. Bro, what is play, that? Play the music, Doji. 
Are you worried about your ending? You put your bills and catch up from wind blue. Put your fears into zero wind. Sky, sky, sky. It's not a bird and it's not a plane. And it's not an egg. It's not a plane. 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 I mean, it's true. More it's unreal. What is that? <laughs> Captain Underpants is the true hero that our society needs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who do you think would win Actually, the fight? Captain what what did I just watch? Captain Underpants with all of his powers active? Or What did Superman? I just watch, Unreal? Explain to me. I don't fucking oh, know. Uh, Captain Underpants, of course. Why Why do you have to put this information on the group chat? Or, who, who do you guys think would win? Captain Underpants with all of his powers unlocked, or One Punch Man? It will, Captain it would just, Underpants, it would just result, all the way. It would just result in a draw. <laughs> uh, Captain Underpants Stare. broke his limiter. Two, two, exactly, two anime characters that break their limiter can never be beaten. Ever. So it will always result in a draw. Besides, I think Saitama would look at Captain Underpants' bald head and just respect him immediately. <laughs> because bald people <laughs> one, are funny. One, one baldy to another. <laughs> one, it's like that one scene from Rango. From one, from one baldy to another. I respect you. Meet the you. Deforce Files. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> God damn it, Doji. Meet the Deforce Files. This is why you you and Unreal shouldn't be together right now. You guys need a divorce. Go to, go to you don't deserve this. Doji just Doji even said it earlier. Whatever nobody else is online, it's like cavemen. Ooga booga. Ooga booga. I sent three Garfield comics. No, stop it. You're weirder than my sister. I, three, oh I sent gosh. three Garfield Odor, comics why are you from not Google. On the server anymore? Have you just stopped? Yeah, <laughs> Doji slowly made me lose brain cells. <laughs> and so I just unfigured out how to join the server. No, it's because I don't I, I don't want to play on mobile. Mobile sucks butt, actually. Ah. Uh. I swear. Because Are you, you know why? Her? Because I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry you have to deal with mobile. I know, I know, I know. Send prayers. Send prayers. But tomorrow Just send send cash. You should that's what you should yeah, be send, asking. Yeah, send send cash. Send me fifteen dollars right now. I could probably buy you <laughs> Xbox Live, but I don't want to. Shut up. <laughs> no, the SMF. You know that I got schizophrenia. Come on, man. It's almost my birthday. <laughs> There's God. no people. What? Birthday money. It's my birthday money. I don't care. I'm broken <laughs> right now. I don't care my what longest... birthday money you give me. Just give me your birthday, I'm... birthday money. I'm broken It's right almost now. my birthday. My, my distant Stop. cousin got from my Iran just got bombed. I'll do... And I'll do it again. What it? What? Hello. Huh? It, bro, if you were, love if we love, were all the same age, not gender, not race, not age, not religion. What do you mean not age? That's called a a felony. Pedophile. Right, Garfield. Pedophile? Liz says I, she. Liz <laughs> says she likes men with a good sense I of humor. And get, me. I still can't fucking get over. The sincerely you are the zombies. <laughs> Wait, let me see. I wanna see. Oh, Unreal, I have a question. Okay. Yeah. I have a question. So when I first went into the Discord chat, I, I wasn't paying attention because I was doing homework oh, at yeah. the time. <laughs> oh and no, so... did you go into the not safe for work channel? <laughs> No, 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 no. Yes, she did. I, I was, she I, did. My, so, somehow, my my finger was hold, <laughs> like, holded, um, held, like, 
you know, when you, you place your finger for a long amount of time yep. and like it presses something. And so my my finger decided to press right to the do not enter uh... thingy. So like Oof. the first thing I saw was two bony people um <laughs> doing something together. Yeah, that was doji. And then I scrolled a little bit up and I see I see a red lady. Yeah. Okay, do you know the name of them? What the hell, Unreal? Why is this a thing? <laughs> you should look further up. Why is this a thing? It was a special request. Who did it? Not by me. Somebody asked and somebody received. It was Jackson. Actually? Mm Yes. Jackson was the one that asked for all of it. Actually? Yeah. What the fuck? Not all of you it. You guys are weirdos. Most of it, and then the one with the bowling ball and the pin. <laughs> yeah. Dude, <Daisy. laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Jackson asked for the bowling ball. No, he didn't. He actually <laughs> said <it's> fucked up. <laughs> I'm, I'm like traumatized because of this. <laughs> You're joking. If you You're think, joking. If you think the stuff that I posted was bad, believe me, there is way worse. Like I know, but way, like this is the, the worst way, I've do seen. Do not go into the coffee pasta channel. Doji mm. found out the hard way what the My Little Pony <laughs> jar experiment was. <laughs> I, hate I, warned that. Him, I warned him it was bad. Please delete it. He please delete it. it. I will never delete it. It will be a reminder. Yeah, don't. <laughs> please. Wait, I want to know. Please, I wanna please, know. please. No, you, no, you, you don't. Do, no, you, you don't. Do not. No, you don't. Do no, you don't. Not. <laughs> you do not want do to, not. You do not want to know what the My Little Pony jar experiment was. It is traumatizing. He's currently reading it. What the hell? <clears throat> I'm gonna just start spamming this. I'm gonna start spamming this so that nobody Why? can ever read it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Why? Oh, yeah, I can delete all of your messages. Your attempts are Please don't. <laughs> it's the Vaporeon copy pasta. No, oh, yeah, the, the Vaporeon one's like the least. The least horrible one there. Who's can... recipe for meth? That's my brother, unfortunately. I'm like, why <laughs> oh, you're Mexican, why? all right. Yo, you're a Mexican, all right. Just not a super one. I'm not reading all of that, Doji. You're crazy from reading all of that. I could probably find the the Umbreon, the Umbreon one. Hmm. Wait, the Umbreon? Yeah, there's an. For like all of the evolutions, there's um, there's a copy oh, no. made for them. Oh god, that happens. The one I hated the mm. most was Sylveon, because Sylveon's my favorite evolution. You should put that one first. <laughs> not gender is lo love is love. Not race. Not age. Not religion. What not the hell? Not age gender, bro. A, age is just a jump. Age is just a number. Prison is just a place. No. You, this, you were this about to say. This come about feeling because of the O5 Council. For those who are not currently aware of our existence, we re represent the organization known as SLP Foundation. Our previous mission centered around the containment and study of anomalous ob objects, entities, and other assorted phenomena. This mission yeah, and was these. focused and on these. our organization <laughs> set up <laughs> for more than a hundred days. Did you a hundred years. I spent a hundred days in the SCP Foundation. They <laughs> fucking killed me. Stop. I'm you just, just you guys are not helping at all. I'm trying to do my Due to circumstances right outside of cool. our control, the directive guys. has now changed. Our new mission will be extermination of the human race. There will be no f further hum communication. Okay, bye. Wait, hang bye. on. Bye. Bye. I'm going to go do homework because you guys are not helping. You guys are saying some. I'll help you. Joke.
Bro, it's reading and answering questions. You want me to read like three, not even three yeah, little serious paragraphs? bedtime you... stories. Read it. <laughs> Be bedtime, bedtime stories. No, you guys don't deserve bedtime stories. Aww. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skin you alive when you fall asleep. What the oh, hell? Dude. Just read the story. That's not cute, Andrew. <laughs> that is not cute. Read that the is story. Far from cute. Read the story. Oh, you want, you want, you want to hear a story about? Me and Tarina are gonna go into your That's room when you're called. sleeping, and we're gonna, and we're gonna play, and we're gonna put mustard on you. Pickles. <laughs> I hate mustard. Stop. That's where. You, that's where we're gonna you put it. To the mustard dimension, motherfucker. <laughs> you guys wanna hear? You guys wanna hear about recycling spoons and eating them? I'm sorry, I mean, what? No. What the fuck? That's what it's called. That's it's called eat the spoon. <laughs> it's in like the most threatening way possible. Eat the spoon. Come on, motherfucker, eat the spoon. Come on. Eat the spoon. Me eat when they spoon. don't eat the spoon. <laughs> eat the spoon, motherfucker. Do it! Do it! And then I got a rate of the one year old child spoon. who refuses to eat thing. the smushed up carrots. Eat the spoon. <laughs> Instead of like typing an actual response, you just eat the spoon. Instead of like typing an actual response, just type eat the spoon 500 times and call it a day. Oh, like actually, look. We you want to see? No. <laughs> I don't want to no, see no, no. eat the yeah, spoon. Yeah, you do. What does she eat the spoon? I'm gonna make eat, eat the, the spoon. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make eats the spoon a new role in the Discord. <laughs> eats <laughs> the spoon. You should make that. Uh, oh, no. The, the, oh, the spoon's <laughs> not even like it's not even like pla It's not even like paper or like. Hard points. It's fucking metal. <laughs> Eat the spoon. Go paper. on. It's, it's just it's just metal, okay? <laughs> it is pure. You should be just metal. Eat the spoon. Your 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 teeth. Wait, can you make this crazy. image of um, um, um a emoji, a server emoji? I don't think I can, but I'll try. I mean, if you have the right bots, then you can. I think my phone just fucking died. Yep. L. Oh my God. Elbows out. Wow, I could eat this. Oh, you all see it's the literally chief? You all see it's the chief? Yeah. That's how much my school sucks, but actually, and we use... Uh, can you, like, please yeah. read it to us? Oh, you, really? Yes. Yeah. New Jersey is 3,000. April 20... April 2022. You, ha you and your friend are at a zoo. Activity. Shut up. Shut up! I'm trying to read you guys a bedtime story, okay? Okay, my bad. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, but you and your friend are at a zoo on a hot summer day, and you birth finish off your bowls of dipping Dots Ooh. ice cream, and you, you glance around for the- Go. Shut the <laughs> Shut <laughs> <show> up. up. <laughs> anyway, anyway, as I was saying, dipping- Go. Uh, Both of you- Shut up. One. Bro, shut up! Bro, actually, anyway, as I was saying, Two. both, both of you, sure. you both finish off a bowl, your bowls of Dippin' Dots ice cream, but then you gr glance around a trash can. Level up. But, I swear to God, Unreal, <laughs> no more bedtime stories for you if you keep on continuing this That's fine, behavior. I'll just to the fitness gram pacer test. Is a multi <laughs> Guys, look at the general. Then <laughs> fine, I'll read to Doji. As I was saying, Doji. Then you glance around the trash can, but your buddy devours the spoon. Mumble, <laughs> mumbling. Mm, tastes like chocolate. It's in. It, it's it, Is it just time to call a doctor? Chill. <laughs> 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 Protein. Oh, oh no! Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> tastes like protein. <laughs> Shoves the whole thing down his greasy gullet. Mmm. Wait, chocolate. Doji, if you're a true achiever, sh shut up. Anyway, if you're a true I, I, achiever, you should know 
You should know this is you. You should know this is you. Um. The fitness no. wear pacer test is a multi stage robot. I hope you die. Honestly. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> Shut up. Oh yeah, clever. I thought it was clever, Sonic. <laughs> Fuck you, too. Fuck you, too. Exactly. 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 <laughs> Fuck Will you, you swallow? Will you swallow? I thought it was clever. Fuck you, Tails. I hope your ears get blown up by a bomb. But the person who put paint in their blue paint on their eye. Why? Why not? <laughs> they, they said I yeah, want to I wanna see more I'm, blue. The thing that gives uh, me I'm a go. headache. <laughs> me selling ropes to me selling ropes to transgenders. <laughs> the kids in my basement wait for you to another. <laughs> Did she leave yet? Or is she still tolerating know. us? Is she still tolerating us? Oh, I got a 33 because of you guys on a tee. Is that good I or bad? That's terrible. It's bad. <laughs> if it's what? under 75, then it's bad. Oh. Exactly. I don't fucking Bro. know. You two are taking two completely different tests from me. Shut I'm... up. Here's yeah. the punishments of sins. Oh, so, I'm gonna put now, them in the now chat. Now my teacher's gonna put. My teacher's gonna be so bad at me because of you idiots. Okay, you guys. There's the punishments of Have sins you tried, in hell. Like, you could always like mute us until your homework is done. Or you that's what I, I try. try. This is or what I'm could, doing right now. Or you could fucking up, do your up. homework when it's assigned. It okay, is a sign! It was a sign! Okay. You took a two hour long nap instead of doing your damn homework. Guys, the punishment for the sin of gluttony in hell. Now, if we talk about the punishment for people who always commit sins such as gluttony, they'll be forcefully fed in hell and the process will continue. You will be forced to eat. Hey, you sinner. You were, you, were you, were, you were pretty fat in life, uh, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Nikocado Avocado is not gonna have a fun time. Bro, he'll make so much fucking money off of it, what do you mean? <laughs> he would have he, he can he can just new setup. Heck. He'll, Bro, eat the, the, setup. he'll eat the dude fucking feeding him. <laughs> Bro, I, I, you know what the funny part is? He'll he can just pay to go in heaven. That's it. You can just pay to go in heaven. Did you know That's that it? back in like punishment? The, did you know back in the 16th century, you could pay the Catholic Church and the Pope the equivalent of one of a ten thousand, like ten thousand U.S. dollars today, to just enter okay. heaven? Like they would essentially, like they would essentially just bypass you onto God's nice list. It'd be like, hey, can you punishment. Can you you guys, the guy punishment for the video? for the sin of envy, which is like being jealous in hell, is the envious people immer will be immersed in the very cold water of hell. It is believed that the people will understand after a cold that they will not be jealous of others. Yeah, punishment of the sin of so pride in hell. Oh, gee, do you have that? big ears? You hear that, people? If you in any way, shape, or form wish that you know. Maybe just you could like no. This is like Envy is talking about like if you always want something that somebody else has, like always, and this is like nonstop. The Bible doesn't fuck around. You hear that, okay, people? But... You know, if you like are homeless, and you know, get you, a life, you, get a you, job. You make the absolute cardinal sin of I don't know wanting a place to stay for more than two days. Wanting a stable source of money other than begging or drifting, then you are gonna get sent to hell. Yeah, I don't think right that's how that that what it's talking down about. Upon the envious. Yeah, I don't think you that's what it's talking about. To stay on the he, but he's perfectly fine in letting you know ninety-five percent of humanity drown. Punishment for for the sin of pride in hell. Now, if we talk about punishment for those who are proud. 
basically like they they believe in God, then they think that they're better than God, so that they stop believing in Him. They will be punished. Better, they will be punished for. They will lose. simple. A man is tied to a steering wheel, and all those who come, and people come the at, to there and laugh at seeing this man in such a bad situation. You will be embarrassed for all of eternity. What if that's your like, kink, though? Like, stop. <laughs> and then what? What the fuck are you gonna Punishment do now, big the... boy? Punishment for the sin of sloth, laziness, and hell. Those who have committed the, this, the deadly deed of the deadly sin of, so, of sloth, will be, will be punished by by throwing them in the snake pit in hell. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a pretty reasonable jump. You were fat, so you were fat and ate a lot of food, so you'll be fed food for all of eternity. You were uh, prideful, so you'll be shamed for all eternity. You were sl you were lazy. Get sent to the fucking snake pit, loser. <laughs> Enjoy being bitten for the rest of your days. Okay, the punishment in for the sin of greed and hell. Those who have committed this, the deadly sin of greed, will be punished. In and eternal <laughs> torment in hell, so they'll be you know, immersed in boiling rich oil for eternity. Rich oil. So is that like truffle so, oil? Is that like? I don't know. Is it like really punishment expensive? for the sin of punishment for the sin of anger in hell. Those who have committed this de the deadly sin of anger will be punished in hell for being in in hell. They will be dis. Dismembered alive. I feel like now we're you... starting to veer off the track of like, yeah, the 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 crime fits the punishment or the punishment fits the crime. Now this is just like, hey, were you mad at some guy once? You get your fucking arms chopped off. You got so angry that now that your limbs came that, off. That makes like literally every gamer ever. Eligible for a decapitation. Like, I think that what they mean is like you got so ang. What I'm thinking is you got so angry, your limbs came off. My, okay. My, my dick Punish fell okay. This off. is the last one. This is, is the it, last one. Is Punishment for the sin of lust in hell. You know what that is. Lustful people, for those who commit this deadly sin, will be suffocated by fire and sulfur in hell and punished. Aww. Hope you like the taste of sulfur. That one sucks. <clears throat> Lust is like the only circle where it's like... That actually seems like what hell would be other than like envy. Pride, yeah. just, pride just kind of seems like... Pride just the kind of seems like unreleased, like unfinished DLC content like you know we tried to get it out as fast as possible within the year but you know we we didn't have enough time and we don't really ever really plan on like fixing it that's not really torture so much as like it's annoying <clears throat> exactly I'm pretty sure that th that I screenshotted some ways they could fix this improve you know next stream is gonna be us improving hell Right, we're gonna go in Discord, I'm gonna open up a Google Doc, and just, we're just gonna be like, okay, so what are some ways we can improve hell? Uh, we can put, like, a roller coaster here. Like, let's, alright, let's Okay, just, yep. Let's look at here hell are the ways they can fix them. Okay, kindness. Cures envy by placing the desire to help others above the need to... Husband hotel lore. <laughs> Temperance. Cures gluttony by implanting the desire to be healthy, therefore making one fit to serve others. Um, what if gluttony charity is like, cures. you're like, what about a hydro homie? Like, technically that's gluttonous for water. Chastity. Cures lust by controlling passion and Chastity. leveraging the basically, energy for you, one, for the good you, you of others. Your, you chop your dick off. I mean, I, I think it means like... I mean, uh, yeah, I think it like, means that you got to control the urge of lust, and like you got to use it to help others. So, like, because so basically, you're horny to benefit society. 
<laughs> so yeah. Yeah. We're talking about religious stuff. Doji's talking about religious stuff. Cry about it. Wait, that would be anger, right? Let me quickly. That would be anger. That would be anger. Shut that would be the anger. Fuck up. Also, Totoro, um, you shouldn't be angry all the time because angry people in hell, they get dismembered. Okay, cry about it? Like, what the fuck is God gonna do? Come down there and tell me to be a good boy himself? I will, no, he's gonna I punish will you for an eternity. I will Christian channel if God himself has the balls to come and speak to me one-on-one. -on -one. I'm ready anytime, big man. Okay, which one's... I'm ready um, anytime, big boy. You, okay, me, patience. and the best. Guys. Let's go. Okay, guys. Uh, um, this is... Okay, guys. Um, this is patience. How to cure anger. Cures anger. Patience cures anger by taking time to understand the needs and desires of others before acting or speaking. Lame. So, actually, there is ways to forgive your sins. So, it's like, if you commit a sin, you can forgive it. So does that only count as like as long as you're a Christian or is it just forever? Because technically, um, couldn't somebody just pull like a, somebody could just pull a CS:GO and just change teams at the very end and just um, like no, I'm pretty benefit. sure that's like for everyone. You don't even have to know this. Just like if you're a good person and you don't even, but they don't even know that God exists. Actually, I'm pretty sure they can still make it into heaven. So the way it works, I'm told, is if you do not know God exists, like let's say you're an uncontacted tribe in the middle of nowhere, <clears throat> like, I don't know, the, in the middle of the Amazon rainforest, you've never heard of God before in your life, like your entire species' is history, entire tribe's history, whatever. And then suddenly, like, you're confronted with all of this, you will not, like, be punished, like, ever. I mean, like, if you don't know that God exists, or you're an atheist, you know, if, I mean, I'm not an atheist, I am a Christian, but if you just are good, you know, you don't so do you commit a lot of sins. Boy. <clears throat> yeah. And I make sure and I make sure to forgive my sins by doing good thing. Doji, so do nothing you you've see, done in your life is a good thing. I okay. know. You see kids, you gotta watch Veggie Tales. Veggie Tales is for all the good Christian homies. <laughs> That's what next stream should be <laughs> watching fam. Veggie Tales with the if homies. If it wasn't copyrighted to all hell, I would. Wait, it's copyrighted? You can't just, like, watch copyrighted content or streamable content online, Dochi. I'll make my own Veggie Tales lore. How about that? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Lord Vegington the second. <laughs> anyway. Hey yeah, guys, did you know that that, that in terms that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding vapor is the most if compatible? You, if you finish that sentence, Doji, bad things will happen to you. Namely, <laughs> 
It'd be extremely unfortunate if your name were to be leaked to the public. Are you threatening me with my own name? Indeed, I, I am. know what my name is. Indeed, I am. You know, this seems like a perfect time for me to leave, so...